Okay. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I came to do a little bit of an update about my cycle. The last video I was spotting and I told you I would come back and let you know if my full blown period came. And it did the day after I filmed that video. So it was very sad, very disappointing. I was very in a very dark place. I couldn't really cope very well because as I explained to you, I had very high expectations for this cycle and I was just so very disappointed. I did end up testing um, the day after my last um, bleeding day and um, it came back negative. I did not film it for that purpose. I knew it was going to be negative anyway, but I always test just in case, just as a peace of mind, I guess. So uh, obviously that's the reason why I did not film it and it came back negative, obviously. Anyway, I phoned my GP doctor um, to let her know that my period was coming um, before the time that it should come. So um, I wasn't even 12 DPO. Um, I was about 7 DPO, I think. I was about 7 DPO and my full blown period came. And I was talking to her about the possibility of being my progesterone levels and whatnot. And she believes it could be my weight that is causing this which made me a little bit angry because I'm already angry enough for the fact that I'm a woman and I am struggling to conceive which is something that is so simple for some women and for me just so hard and telling me that my weight is what is blocking it from happening you know it, it helps because it helps me to address the issue but it also gets to a point when I just feel lost because I just feel so guilty about this. I asked for help to lose the weight and apparently my doctor still has to apply for a funding before she can uh, refer me to the dietitian to the obesity clinic. Because the fertility doctor, she tried to refer me and they declined it because they say it needs to be my GP doctor. So I'm gonna have to try different ways uh, to do it and to get help to address my weight loss. A different topic now. I told you guys I used a fertility gel. Uh, last cycle and I wanted to show you guys what it is. So this is the fertility gel that we used. It's from Fertile Check and every box has six little bags like this that contain a tube like this one. For the ones that don't know what a fertility gel is, it's basically a lubricant but it's sperm friendly. So the majority of the lubricants you find on stores that are not for this purpose, they contain products that damage the sperm and sometimes kill the sperm, which absolutely ruins your chances of getting pregnant. So the fertility uh, gels are sperm friendly lubricants that you can use to mimic your cervical mucus. So basically what they are, they're very watery, consistent gels and um, they help to get the sperm where it needs to go. So obviously it didn't work for us last cycle, but I don't think it was because of the gel. I think it was because of everything else that always happens to us. But uh, I can tell that this gel, I have nothing bad to say about it. It's um, it's not scented and the consistency is very watery so it's a little bit messy and you need to apply it when you're laying down and use it within the 15 minutes of applying it. And it says also on the box that you can use it daily during your fertile window because it is a very natural formula and it says that it doesn't hurt. So we did that. Uh, we used it every day during our fertile window and I have to say that neither me or Fabio had a bad reaction to it so overall I believe it's a good product and if it doesn't hurt why not throw something else uh, in the game and try something else that it is going to help. 
Another thing that me and Fabio took this cycle religiously was the pregnant care um, vitamins. So these are the pregnant care, his and her conception for couples trying for a baby, and it's supposed to contribute with normal fertility and reproduction. And every box has one of these blisters, uh, which is it's purple at the back, and the tablets are, I think, a dark brown. And they're for the men. And then they come with these ones uh, that are for the women. So um, we have been taking these ones religiously. We've been taking these ones for quite a while now, but um, we didn't really understood at the beginning the importance of this. So sometimes we would skip and it would be like a week or two without taking it. And now we just made it um, you know, a routine of ours to kind of when Fabio gets home from work or when Fabio picks me up from work, we go and we ask each other, have you taken your vitamins today? Have you taken the tablet today? And we make sure we take it religiously. This box in the UK, I believe it costs 18 pounds. And the fertility check, I bought it on Boots and I think it's around 12 pounds. It's around the 12 pound mark. So... Yeah, so this is what we've uh, been using. Um, we used last cycle and we're, carry we're gonna carry on using it for this cycle as well. The news is that I was online trying to find something that would help with my irregular cycles and with my really bad ovulation and all sorts of things. So I found the Pregnitude and I never heard of it before and I'm going to, to try to insert a picture um, somewhere of and I say try to put a picture because hashtag really bad at editing so I have no idea how to do that I'm gonna ask Fabio if he knows and if not if I didn't put uh, the image I'll leave a link to the Amazon uh, website where you can buy the Pregnitude here in the UK and I'll leave it down below for you guys so you guys can go and check it out it's very expensive it has like 30 it's a 30 day supply and it has um, 60 little uh, powder bags that you're meant to use twice a day so you're meant to use one in the morning one in the evening and obviously it only lasts for a month and in the Amazon it, here in the UK it's uh, 59.99 so it's 60 pounds which is very expensive I know for a fact it's more expensive than in the US but in the US you can buy it in Wal Walgreens I believe um, that's what I saw online so don't quote me on this but I believe you can buy it in Walgreens in the US and apparently what it is it, it, it says that is a, a dietary supplement that is supposed to help regulate your cycles help you to have a normal ovulation and also helps you to improve egg quality now this is a dream for whoever is trying to conceive I know that a lot of the women that take this uh, pregnitude thing uh, are women that suffer from PCOS I have no idea if women that don't suffer from PCOS should take it or not but I've asked some ladies on uh, Instagram that said that it's very natural so it's fine to use and um, a lot of people say that it had positive results on them there's a lot of reviews on Amazon website there's a lot of reviews on YouTube and general on internet and blogs and Instagram there's a lot of people that have a lot of success stories about it and even though it's so expensive and it's like 60 pounds a month and apparently on the box it says for you to start seeing results you need to be using it for at least three months I am willing to give it a go because my dreams do not have a price so being a mom does not have a price and if I can't afford IVF or anything like that and if I have to lose the weight to try and do it through the NHS I am going to do my best to take every single thing possible now there is other products online that contain the same components that the Pregnitude has and they're a lot cheaper and the reason why I didn't go for those is because um, I do not know the brand and I do not know where they come from and the price is so different uh, to 
you know, from those products to the Pregnitude ones that I ha I am a little bit suspicious. So that's the reason why I didn't buy any of those products. And I went for the Pregnitude because even though they don't sell it here in the UK, they do sell it in the US in the shops. And I believe it's, you know, I don't know. I just think it's a little bit safer because there's a lot of reviews on it. There's a lot of people that took it, you know, and there's, you know, a lot of things around that. I also heard on one of the reviews that when you're taking it, you're supposed to eat a lot of fiber because it fiddles a little bit with your um, sugar levels, so you're supposed to eat um, a lot of fiber. And I don't think it says on the box, and I don't think that um, it explains anywhere in the box, so I'm just going to throw it out there. I do not know if it's true, but one of the ladies on YouTube, I believe it was on YouTube, um, or on one of the reviews on the Amazon, I'm not sure said that you're supposed to eat a lot of fiber because it fiddles a little bit with your sugars. So there you go. I gave you all of the information that I know about this. Don't quote me on this. Please speak to your doctor before you take anything. I tried to ask my GP, but obviously she said she's not an holistic doctor. It's a natural medication. Obviously, she does not know anything about it, so she cannot recommend me to take it. Uh, I will be talking to my fertility doctor when I go back in December and I'm going to take the box and take everything to her but um, I am definitely going to be doing my research on it I already ordered it but I am going to be doing more research on it before I start taking it I don't have it here yet so I've, I have a few days to research a bit more about it so there you go this was my update I'm sorry if this video was a little bit long but I had a lot of things to talk about today and to show you guys so be sure to click like if you like this video leave your comments down below and if you have taken Pregnitude before or if you heard of anyone that took Pregnitude before and they were successful please leave your comments down below and share that information with you because that's going to be helpful for me and for everyone that watches my video if they go down below and if they check all of the comments and if you know it can be helpful for them as well to have a little bit more information subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already for more updates and for more fun stuff i guess and i'll see you guys next time bye